All right, I'll go ahead and start recording. We've got this, uh, we've got this Tengu Conjurer, and uh, I haven't played it since uh, running through my Felid Berserker like the entire run, so I'm not sure exactly how much I remember about what this dude was doing. Um, but we're gonna, we're gonna figure it out. So yeah, I remember I was using this hand crossbow and wrecking things with it. <laughs> yeah, doesn't he? That's exactly how the Song of Storms works. Right, yeah, we've got a Tingu of Che. So the goal was to copy Elliptic Streak, and um, I found a Che altar first, and since this is like the first thing in the in the streak, uh, I figured I would just go pretty wild with it. So, hey, Variance, thanks for the sub, man. I appreciate that. I see that uh, I see that my audio is being naughty again and not playing, so we're gonna force it. Since I know you guys deserve. Let's get it on. This is the This guy's just you know I know you deserve the um, <laughs> the audio for that, <laughs> um, and and my boy uh, Ricardo I believe his name is. Anyway, um, all right, so this character has three runes, Slimy, um, and then I got the one from Shoals and Snake. So I suspect that I've probably cleared out all of vaults. This stream can provide Baldur's Gate tips, right? Uh, Pastry, I will, um, Dazzler, I will help you as much as I can, although it has been a while since I've played it. Um, although I spent so many hours of my uh, young, youthful life on that game that uh, I probably I probably have a lot of it memorized so I'll see what I can do for you well even if even if it's not a joke I, uh, I probably remember enough to help you through most situations Dazzlier here is a cheater he uh, gave himself gold I'm gonna call him out about this he cheated in Baldur's Gate I, uh, I love him anyway though it's okay yeah Null Stronghold is a great part of that game all right, so we're just going to kill things with um, the crossbow, I guess. Let's see, I think I was going towards Malign Gateway. Yeah. I assume we were going to get statue form online at some point. Probably, um... <laughs> it's kind of funny how quickly I forget what the hell I was doing on a character like this. Okay, well... Malign Gateway seems like a good thing to go for. We have Spire, that's always good. Um, this character doesn't really... Um, oh right, I was using Blade Hands to finish things off. Okay. Surprisingly good defenses for a for a Tingu. Oh right, and I have the penetration crossbow. Okay, okay, it's coming, it's coming back to me. We use the penetration crossbow to just kind of poop all over Elf. By the way, Dazzler, I hope you have Minsk with you, or at least Edwin. Okay, we're going to keep a Spire up so I don't get iron shot at a bunch of times. <laughs> if the game wants to uh, cooperate anyway. There we go. Might drop Khalid for Minsk. Uh, yeah, Khalid is a whiner. You're going to enjoy what happens to him in uh, Baldur's Gate 2. Spoiler alert. But if you drop Khalid, I'm pretty sure Jahiro will, um, will leave as well, so keep that in mind. Nice. Shield of Reflection bounces the stone arrow. I 
I guess I was probably doing um, I was probably doing crypt just to get some extra experience. I was probably trying to get Malign Gateway online just so that Vaults 5 would be a little easier. Oh, that is Zotahua. It can't be paralyzed. It looks like I've had some good luck with MR in this game. Blade Hands and Gateway, what a weird character. It is a little weird. Um, but then again, we're worshiping Che, so we can, we can do a lot of things. Did you know that you can romance Jahira in Baldur's Gate 2? <laughs> Tengu of Che is very normal. Yeah, right? Nothing, nothing odd about this at all. Let's, um... Oh, we don't have RF. That's a bit of a problem. Let's take a step away. Oh, oh, very bad. Um, I was kind of afraid that would happen. That's actually really bad. Uh... Okay, this is a Che character. Let's play it like a Che character. Where's our resist potion? Yeah, I should have used that, huh? Oh, right, she does as much fire as a... as an orb of fire, doesn't she? 3d40. Catching her breath. I mean, fuck the resist potion. Where's our blink scroll? Uh, like, sorry guys, I gotta blow two blink scrolls here. You know, I just like roll over Zotahua so often that it's honestly, it's like hard to see her as a threat sometimes. We should train indications up a little more so that step from time is a little more reliable. Kind of stay on a staircase for a while. Okay, this is this is a little irritating. I never knew how much DCSS takes from D and D. Doesn't he? You didn't. <laughs> oh, you're saying someone else did. Yeah, like, uh, it's easy to disregard that she has Paralyze, you know. I've noticed a lot, a lot of people seem to not be aware of that. But, um, yeah, she just yells at you and scares you half to death. Let's get Strength. Is I going to wear some body armor that's maybe less dog shit? Like, do we, <laughs> do we have something available? I think that was the one RNG sort of bad luck we were having, was it kind of a lack of good body armor. Where's my OCPA when I need it, you know? Okay, let's see. Ancient champions are not resistant to lightning. We have 10 EVO. Wait, did he take no damage from that? Thunderbolt hits but does no damage. There we go. We have Blink. <laughs> Which will eventually put me in a good spot. All right. That's, that's all right, okay. Hey, we've got a closed off portion of the floor here. Or maybe I got shafted last time and just forgot. I guess I must have gotten shafted. Unless something horrible happened over here. Doesn't look like it. Okay, something horrible is happening right now. Uh, are we able to kill curse skulls? Did I have a plan for this? I guess they're fast. I can probably... I can probably um, just... Slouch them to death. 
Okay, well, we've got kind of an escape tactic here. Why don't we um, blade hands and just swing on him? We kill him in one hit. That's, that's the, it's good when that happens, you know. Can't really rely on that even with Che melee, though. Oh shit, this is... That's a mark trap. Um, <laughs> whoops. Okay, we blinked to a very advantageous spot. How come we're in Crypt? Um, well, to be honest, I loaded this character up and I don't remember why I was in Crypt, but I suspect it was so I could get... Um, hey, Alpha user, what's up? Tell your uh, pastor we're destroying horrible undead... Uh, Undead creatures, so we're doing a very, doing a very um, moral thing here. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, we're in here getting experience. I think I'm trying to get Malign Gateway online so I can whack some of these dudes with a tentacle monster. Reaper didn't want to go down. Wow, so Jobo's here. Um, we're going to cast Malign Gateway at 22%, which could have gone badly, I guess, but worst case scenario, it abysses me, you know. All right. Let's put a Spire here. All right, I do have Brilliance, but I... Um, I didn't really see the need to use it right here because I, um, you know, had the ability to. Well, we've got a serious problem now. She, he's got, he's got airstrike, and I'm flying. So let's stop flying. But anyway, like the thing is, the the tentacle will slap him from behind now. So if we can just sort of regen. And make a pog. We can. Hmm. Do I want to just walk towards my pog? Probably not. How much does his airstrike actually do? Zero to fifty. Okay, so we can't walk. Dude, pog is one of the best spells in the game. Uh, West, it's it's really good. Uh, you know what we can do? This is probably not going to work, but we can throw out a meth cloud. All right, um, if I wanted to, I could ignite poison, and then we just stick another spire right there. So we're getting some damage on him, even though we're not actually next to him or anything. <laughs> I, I see that my, unfortunately, my, my tentacle is kind of busily killing his allies and not him, so maybe I should just teleport. Deflects the bolt of electricity. Yeah, we're not gonna we're not gonna cut through his deflect missile that easily. Tentacle seems to be distracted by something. Well he's distracted by you know how he always has a couple of Tengu conjurers with him. Um and he's also probably distracted by the elementals too, so that's a good teleport. Now, without Aralek, I guess we do have a swap for Aralek if we want it. Hmm. That could be a real dangerous fight. I gotta start treating this character with kid gloves because we could seriously die fast if we make even a single mistake. Then again, we have Pog. Let's just, uh, well, let's shout a little bit. If you hear any shouts back, maybe we can. Okay, Minotaur Zombie, it's easy enough. It's just, I want Sajobo down, you know. Is this a safe staircase? Yes, it is. Okay, here we go. We will go ahead and pop a Brilliance.
I like that my tentacle is not messing with the mark trap. Here he is, here he is. Alright, so what I'm thinking is he can blow me off the wait, actually, yeah, he can blow me off the staircase. So what we'll do is we'll go down and we'll come right back up. And the, the way this works is we're not going to go up this staircase. We're going to go up, say, uh, this one up here. The way this works is that uh, he should still be, you know, heading towards this to fight the tentacle. And it should kill him. See, it says you feel a bit more experienced. That was, that was probably Sajobo dying. <laughs> tentacle just kind of dealt with my problem for me, you know. Ooh, we should drop some stuff. Kind of a inventory management issue here. Hmm. I need the arrows for six of snakes. I need the bolts for my crossbows. Um, does the day-night cycle do anything in Baldur's Gate? Um, I think you get different random encounters, possibly, based on the time. Uh, and I'm, I think like a few story things might be affected by it. Certainly the time passing affects certain things. Like there's a part of the game where you get poisoned and you only have so many days to fix that problem before you die. Um, but I don't, otherwise I don't, um, I don't really remember. Do we need disintegration? Not really, but we don't we don't need to mess around with our items anymore. Take out the wraith. I think Sajobo was probably the most dangerous thing on this floor. Well, that and the curse skull that we took out. Yeah, dude, Baldur's, Baldur's Gate is an old game, but it stands, you know, it seriously stands the, st the test of time. Certainly not graphically, but in pretty much every other way. Bro, don't do this to me. Two curse skulls? Well, this is definitely a brilliance kind of situation. Okay, I think that the tentacle should take out these problems for me. Just wait a little bit. It says you feel a bit more experienced. That's one. And that's two. I don't know if I've seen this vault before, though. That's a lich. Who, oh, buddy? Is the, is the Lightning Spire actually killing the Lich single-handedly? I think you were mentioning Pillars of Eternity to me the other day, uh, West, or maybe that was Dazzlier. Um, but I have not, I, I have not played it. You know what we should do? Let's just move the Spire away. And then Pog. Maybe Blink. Okay, this is fine. You're supposed to rescue some girl in the Null Stronghold, but you can't find her. No, no, no. She's um, she's in a pit. You'll find her. She's like near the top. Let's go blade hands and cut up some of these plants. I guess this is just. Whoa! I'm just walking away from this school. This is an interesting little vault. I guess we get an artifact ring. Let's go ghoul hands and cut up this bird. Did I say bird? I meant to say plants. <laughs> Wait, ghoul hands? <laughs> is, am I having an aneurysm? 
Did I really say that, or are you just are you just messing with me? I said plants, okay. But did I did I say ghoul hands? <laughs> right, that artifact is crap. This chainmail, on the other hand, could be good. Oh, I said what I meant to say. Okay, man, I wouldn't put it past myself to to just like blurt out some nonsense like that. <laughs> Let's see what this thing is. Some more plus, I guess. I guess that's an option. Not that I really want to be wearing a sling at this point. I feel like we might as well finish up the crypt, you know. Let's um pop on RF plus instead of the AC ring. You hear a deafening roar. Gee, I wonder who that is. Okay, I don't want to mess with the ancient champion just yet. That sounds cool, West. Honestly, I should I should try that out. Okay, that is, that is in fact an iron shot ancient champion, so let's, let's use some minions. Let's, uh, pop on some of that pro fire. Satahua kind of wasting her, uh, breath a bit. We're gonna... I'm just gonna drown her with snakes is what's gonna happen here. It's it's snake time. Can can she actually Yeah, she can definitely searing breath me from this distance even if she hits both of my dudes, but it should be okay. I just want these snakes to finish her off. Honestly, the fact that we took damage from her at all was kind of surprising with, with D-Missile up. Hey, Wesley, what's up? Got an exciting Tingu... Uh, Tingu Conjurer of Chabriados here. I guess we have some decent um, body armor now in the form of the Fire Dragon Scales, not that I really uh, want to be using those. Although if we level up enough, we may we may have all the MR we need without having well, both, well, all three, I should say, of these MR Plus items on. It'd be really nice if we just found, like, one artifact that was um, stacked with resistances. That'd be really helpful. That's another reason I'm doing crypts real quick, because we're just, as you can see, we're just kind of lacking. Um, we're just kind of lacking in resistances. Honestly, I don't even want to really take chances against um, against ancient champions. 
And I happen to know this vault has a lot of them. They can do so much damage, it's outrageous. We're going to let the tentacle deal with this problem for us. Um, actually, I'll shoot him. There we go. And the, the tentacle is killing other ones off screen. We're slowly getting um, more skill here. Uh, I guess I'm training summons. Maybe I was going to get Dragon Call online like a crazy person. Probably not, though. Probably just summon horrible things. This is a little bit of an awkward character. I didn't stick to one thing like I usually do. What is this? It's a it's a vampire with a scythe. He's so gothic. Who does he think he is? Louis from Interview with a Vampire? Which book is this? Oh, he has he has greater demons. We'll make the we made the tentacle kind of as a safety. You've got to be kidding me with this. I mean, this isn't that weird actually. We we auto explored and we have we have chase speed so. <laughs> This, this really isn't that surprising. Vampire Farmer, yeah. Anyway, it's, it's unfortunate to see a Cursed Toe here is all. And the fact that we've got the dudes around us already, we can't close this door. Which is what I'd like to do. I think what we're going to do is we're going to fog. What in the... Right now, this is just goofy as hell. That is more mushrooms than I've ever seen around me in my life. Is there more than one curse toe? I guess not. Well, we're just going to blink. And the ghetto blink works out for us. So what's up with the tourney, man? Um, no, I just need a loss, man. I, I only get, like, I think three or four points. I'm basically knocked out of the tournament. There's no way for me to win at this point unless a lot of people screw up very, very, very badly. Uh, which is possible. But... Not very likely, but that's that's kind of the nature of CSDC. Like, I, I don't mean to denigrate it as in, like, I'm not saying that it's not a game of skill, but there is a large, and I, and I mean a large amount of luck involved as well. Um, and I, I got very unlucky. I also made mistakes, but I got very unlucky. Um, and the other thing is you, you're kind of forced to gamble a little bit. Like, the gamble that I took was that I tried to do ascetic on my uh, Felid Berserker. Sometimes that works out, sometimes it doesn't. Um, I'd say that we played, you know, given the amount of horrific luck we had that game, I think we, we played pretty damn well, personally. But at the end of the day, we just couldn't, we couldn't stick it out, you know. Um, I'll have that video on YouTube soon. I think it's already, um, someone, someone asked me to make it so Twitch keeps my, my videos online. A seed with Shaft City, yeah. Um, ascetic is where you you have to get a rune without using any scrolls or potions. So as you can imagine, this can be a little difficult on a uh, <laughs> on a on a felid, uh, especially a felid berserker. We almost did it. We were on Shoals Four. You're nuts. <laughs> hey man, we we could have done it. I just. Um, you know, I just I just had a little bit of, um, or a lot of bad luck. Seven shafts, one of which was just outrageously bad.
and just reset. Uh, we just like partially reset fights, or at least establish distance with um, <clears throat> with the uh, pog here. Kind of keeps me from getting iron shotted, which is uh, <laughs> it's obviously ideal. Shaft city is fun to say is one word. Is that anything like mute city, Wesley? AKA the uh, best music level, uh, the best music to be found in any level of a video game ever. Hey, Guardian, Guardian Mummies. My favorite, uh, my favorite moment in that Felid Berserker run was when a Guardian Mummy showed up in Dungeon for some reason, and I killed it, and uh, the death curse was that it, uh, it made a Reaper show up. Joke's on you, Mummy Priest. I have penetration. All right, so we got memed on pretty hard here, uh, which unfortunately is a pretty common thing in Crypt. We basically didn't find Jack. Um, I mean, it is what it is, I guess. Let's, um, let's drop this protection ring. That's Ice Dragon Scales. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> what to do on this character? You got to be careful with characters like this. I found one full level of XP. That's see. That's the I like that. I like that West. That is the positive thinking that I look for in my community here. It's very good. Um, and honestly, that's a good way to think about it because if you can march forward slowly, gaining small bits of uh, power, that's kind of the path forward to to winning a game. You know, more than anything. Even if even if the game refuses to give you the items that you'd like to have. Two altars could could swap to a strong god. Um, I mean, don't get me wrong. If I was playing super, super uh, optimally, we wouldn't have picked Che in the first place. But I feel a duty. I feel a duty to stick with it now. I think we're going to go to, you know what would be good is if we had more blinking. <laughs> I guess we haven't done any depths yet. That might be the way to go. I want to look at vaults four. Okay, there's no hatch available. I'd really like to get another giant uh, pile of loot. But the only ones left in the game are Vaults and Tomb. And obviously we're not going to be doing Tomb on this character because that would be uh, suicidal. So, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to go down. I'm going to see what we've got here. How much noise just happened? A decent amount. I'm going to make a malign gateway. How much of this stuff can I pull? Malign Gateway actually doesn't fare very well here um, against against all these guys, believe it or not. As, as trashy as they seem, just like regular Vault Guards, they have a lot of physical, you know, regular damage, so they can take out a Gateway pretty fast. What I was going to do is kind of like go down and up and down and up. Try to kill things. But it's, it's pretty damn dangerous as a as a Che character. Uh, hmm. Do we have any necromancy, necromancy skill trained? Death channel would make this a lot easier. Hmm. Yeah, doesn't he? I'm, uh, I'm inclined to agree with you. We could roll the dice. Honestly, we could probably do it. Like, read Tella go downstairs and then immediately get the jump. Um, oh, Christ, this is... Oh, my God. <laughs> this, is, this, is, this is ugly as hell. We're tanky but low hit points. We're not that tanky. We're, we're pretty tanky, I guess. But look at this. Look at this sick guardian serpent just sitting here with a, with a pack of high melee damage uh, buddies. 
26, 33, 20 is tanky. I'm just spoiled from playing too many, um, from, from playing too many Deep Dwarves of Mach Lab, I guess. Also, I tend to have a hard time viewing anything as tanky unless I have, like, you know, just a ton of, uh, AC, and that's where this character is lacking. We're going to be tanky as hell. I'll consider us tanky as soon as I can get some armor that's not um, quite so bad. Okay. Tentacle will take care of my problems for me. Just make another one. This is all cool with me. Fan of Gales, we already have one. Okay. But yeah, doesn't he? I mean, of course, you are you are correct. But it's just hard to it's hard for me to see it that way, just because AC is king in this game. On the other hand, um, I guess versus things that GDR doesn't apply to, you probably want DV more or SH for that matter. Ooh, Amnesia. You know, I don't think we... I don't think we're going to need Mephitic Cloud or Ignite Poison anymore. Um, you know, Dazzler, if you'd like to get past the early dungeon on a mummy, you might consider playing a .22 mummy necromancer and enjoy the ultra-broken version of... Uh, <laughs> of um, BVC does even more damage but uh, with that said a mummy is actually not the best zig character I don't think um, probably the best one you could pick is um, I don't know it's probably a deep dwarf to be honest just for the damage shaving and the and the MR inherent I don't think it's Naga because Naga's move slowly and that's actually pretty meaningful I mean, it doesn't really matter what the start is. I mean, I guess DD Wizard would be, um, just for the starting high intelligence, would be good. But, I mean, you could, you could do any start, really. Zig Ziggurats don't care a whole lot about your start, other than what it does to your stats, you know. I found another Ring of Pro Magic, which I don't need. I do have a, um, I don't know if you saw my video, I do have a, a video of a mummy doing ziggurats, but yeah, I really don't think that mummies are actually that good for it because you, whoops, you don't get to have, um, hold that thought, this is ugly as hell. We're gonna ice blast this thing to death. Okay, that's that's better. All right. Um, yeah, if the goal is to do one zig, you can do just about any character you want, um, as long as it's a good caster, as doesn't he says. If um, although you really want to have necromutation, to be honest, to to do a zig, so it's something to keep in mind. Um, if it's to do mini ziggurats, then you really have to go go zag or or mock lab. And you, um, I mean, again, you could probably play just about any character, but something like a DD is going to make it easier. Getting a little lag here, man. Come on, Barrow Tato. DD Wizard of Mocklub sounds fun, though potentially annoying early if I have to use too much healing. Uh, yeah, I mean, what you really don't want to do is, honestly, if you can avoid it, you don't want to use any healing because your mana is so important for the purposes of multi-zigs. I'm 
what was um what was Pig in a Bag's character? It was a demon spawn, right? That might be the best thing to go for, to be honest, because if you can get actually, you know, come to think of it, demon spawn is the absolute best species for um for ziggurats, hands down. But you have to get very particular uh DS mutations. Like you have to get no, he was a demon spawn. Because um because powered by death is just so unbelievably good. It was better before, but it's still quite good. Easy to forget how good it is. Powered by Pain's pretty good too, because you get a spell power boost. Night Stalker um, helps because it reduces the line of sight, meaning less things can damage you at once. Viable hit points and intelligence. Well, that's the other thing is you could get robust, which would be real, real good. You know what we can drop? We can, we can drop these potions of flight because that's that's a waste. That's a waste in my inventory. All right, there you go, Desliere. Very nice. Holy shit! What a what a vault. Um, I guess we'll emulate this, right? Or maybe I'll just... Do we have digging? Yeah, we have digging. No problem, uh, no problem, Desire. Yeah, I mean, uh, that's, you're going to need to be spoiled a little bit with Baldur's Gate because it's, it's honestly, the graphics are so dated, it's kind of hard to see what's going on in some places. A centaur. <laughs> Hold on a second. How much, um, how many hit dice does a caustic shrike have? Can you actually meth cloud them? They don't have resistance to poison. 18 hit dice. I mean, I'm not really fighting the Caustic Shrike so much as I'm uh, jumping away and watching my Eldritch Tentacle slaughter a Caustic Shrike, hopefully. And remember, I, I am Che, so I can just slouch this to death if I need to. <laughs> that is an option. Whoa, 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 okay. Okay, guys, uh, I forgot this was still here. Goodbye. Get a little bit more experienced. Hell yeah. He's hasted. Tentacle just handles all this for me. Oh, look how experienced I feel. Look how, look how experienced I feel. Definitely doing all this work myself and not leaving it to a tentacle. Next random boulder skate question, Dynair Hera. Wants to join my party, but I have no indication of her class, background, etc. Is it worth Googling the companions? I mean, it really depends on what kind of an experience you want to have. If you want to min-max, I mean, personally, I wouldn't bother trying to min-max for your first playthrough. Just enjoy the game. If you want to min-max later, then, then um, go ahead. And obviously, if, if you really enjoy min-maxing, feel free to do it now. But I think, I think Baldur's Gate is a game that's best enjoyed, at least the first time you play it, just kind of blind and not, not trying to cheese your way through it. She's a mage, by the way, um, and I think if you refuse to join, uh, like if you don't, if you don't stick her in your party, uh, Minsk will probably run along. So keep that in mind. Don't care about min maxing. I just don't want to drop Khalid for a fighter druid or something. No, she's a pure mage. That's a fair point. 
But the other thing is that if you drop somebody, you can pretty much get them back immediately if you want to. Like, you can find them later. Or you could just quick load. That's that's always a thing. Just, like, press Q and then, and then, then load up. Oh, this thing's alive. Let's, uh, let's pog. Think I'll let her go. I have a mage already, and low level mages are a huge pain in the ass to babysit. I could see that. Um, although you're gonna lose the the best character in the game, Minsk. If you want to really be cheesy, you could invite her into the party and then have her conveniently uh, suicide on some goblins or something or kobolds. <laughs> yeah, doesn't he? I, I probably should have used uh, snakes to take him out, huh? But I mean. The um, Malign Gateway really just solves my problems for me. No, Minsk is not a mage. Minsk is a gigantic, bald-headed sort of... Uh, I mean, technically he's like a ranger, but realistically he's more like a berserker. <laughs> like, he's just like a fighter guy who wrecks everything with a giant two-handed sword. He's, uh, he's, he's real good. I don't want to go into Vestibule yet. You're a Dwarven Berserker. Oh yeah, you're playing the ext uh, Extended Edition or whatever. Hey, Doxine, what's up? Thank you for stopping by the stream, man. Oh, this is risky business. Okay. Um, oh, hell no. We gotta, we gotta use the resistance. Too much, too much elemental damage possible here. Regen. Winning the game with the classic tentacle fighter combo with a bird ally. It's <laughs> kind of funny. Um, Class, yeah, totally classic Chabriados character. Completely normal to uh, to play a Che Tengu. Tentacle fighter, I like that. I mean, it it wins, man. Can't say it doesn't win. Oh, wait, this crossbow has RC++ on it. I could have just swapped that. I didn't... Well, the the resistance was good because it... It meant that I wasn't getting electrocuted either. Minsk is super fun to have around. If you're playing a good aligned party, there's almost no reason to... Never, ever... Um, there's almost no reason not to have him, basically, because he just, he just one-shot stuff, and he has hilarious lines. Um, he's just, like, a really funny character. Just, just a lot of fun. I, I would value him over Khalid by far. <laughs> Apparently there's a bug where if you take too much drain, your skills underflow. I think, I think I heard about that, but you have to take like, like a lot, like a lot of drain for that to happen. All right, we're gonna step away from this stuff. Can Rue characters abuse it? Um, I feel like it would take a really long time, but maybe. 
Has that not been fixed though? I thought that was reported like like weeks ago. Dinahair has, has no spells. Um, are you familiar with old old school D and D? The way where you have to like you have to memorize the spells per day. Um, I bet if you have her memorize, um, I think she's a wizard, right? So you're gonna have to have her memorize spells in her spell book and then rest um, for the night, and then she'll have spells available. You figured she would start with some? Well, if you think about it, it makes sense. She's been captured, right? So, in theory, somebody was keeping her spell book away from her, you know? That's my, that's my take on it. So I can, I can see how it would make sense. Plus, if she, had, if she had spells, presumably she would have used them to escape, right? Jahiro was probably stronger than her, but I want Minsk, so it's cool. Um, yeah, honestly, I remember uh, just like not really enjoying, not really wanting to have Dinahair, but I did want to have Minsk, so Dinahair would always have a, an inconvenient accident, or a, I guess I should say a convenient accident, maybe fighting some sirens or something. Oops. How could this have happened? Oh no, you know, that kind of thing. Oh, this is annoying. Um, this is a lot of stuff. Okay, we'll put the spire there. And we use penetration, and my lightning bolt will <laughs> kind of help me solve this problem as well. There we go, perfect. Lightning spire remaining useful well into depths. I love it. Soaring of profile. Um, we already have one of those in the, in the inventory, so we won't wear it. Still no decent body armor. At this point, I would take like a, <laughs> you know, I would just take like a generic Storm Dragon scale. That'd be pretty cool. Uh, I could probably cast pretty well in that. I'd take a... Hell, I'd probably put on a golden dragon scale, come to think of it. As wild as that sounds. I could probably cast in it, for the most part. Probably not Malign Gateway, but... Make a tentacle just in case. Just in case this fight goes badly. It looks like it's really solving most of the problems for me as it as tentacle is wont to do. Lightning Spire is the same spell level as Force Lance. Yeah, it's funny, isn't it? That's uh that's a real real good balance, am I right? There are some things about Dungeon Crawl like that that are just sort of mind-blowing. Just like how, how do these crappy spells remain in the game and how do these excellent spells remain so, so viable for so long. Like it's, it doesn't take a rocket scientist, I guess is what I'm saying, to, to see that there are balance issues with those spells. Oh, that's not good. This is very bad. Let's pop on Pro Fire. Hog away from this stuff. Okay, doesn't want to 
Lightning Spire is lower level than Bolt of Magma, right? Okay, Tentacle, stop, stop trolling me. <laughs> this is... I'll put up the missile. We'll just uh, Lightning Rod this stuff, I guess. We have Profire on, right? So, actually I'll regen first. This has got to be what's her faces pack, right? The the chick with all the hell knights or whatever. Okay, we're gonna put on the penetration penetration crossbow, so I don't get wrecked by this cold damage. I should have pogged. I should have. I should have just pogged and not blinked. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll do this. Kind of penetrate through. This is a lot for just a normal pack. It is. Marjorie was who I was thinking of. Thank you. I completely forgot about the the name. Oh, what am I doing? This is um. Well, no, we're still immune, even without the pro magic on. This is a relatively low spell power sort of threat. I took off my MR plus so I could have RF. Okay, we'll drop the Amulet of Reflection. You know what this is, it's just a wide open floor is all that's happening here. We could have possibly, that could very well have been two packs. Penetration brand is so good. Unless she was shafted, that's that could have happened. It's kind of funny that that's possible, but oh, whoa, 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 whoa! We need pro fire on. Genix can't be shafted out of your line of sight, I guess. Yeah, I guess that's true, huh? I'm going to feel a lot better out about this character if we can just um, have good resistances on all the time. That's making me a little bit nervous, just a little. Okay, well, Amnesia off Math Cloud. Suddenly we have spell levels left. Um, <laughs> you get tornado on if I felt like it. Hey guys, we can get freezing cloud. What a good spell. Dragon's call is not really going to happen. Um, and yeah, we're going to get horrible things. I don't usually get this spell, but it's, it's it really is quite good. Got a little message here. <laughs> Can you do us mortals a favor and stop being so good slash lucky? Thank you in advance. It's kind of a funny comment from Das Douse here. Crawl does not need that kind of simulationism. I mean, I don't, uh, I don't know, man. I, th I thought it was nice that I could kind of cheese uh, Zot 5 that way. Alright, the MR threat is off the table. So let's, uh, let's pop on a ring of RF+. Plus. Tell them to watch my CSDC game this week. Um, well, the one for this week I've already... I've already lost in a horrible fashion if he... Oh, I see what you're saying. Let him, let him see what kind of luck I get when the chips are down, <laughs> when the points are on the line. I see what you're going for. 
Show them, show them the wonder and joy of uh, Seven Shafts. Dude, that... Did you guys see the screenshot? I mean, for those of you who weren't, uh, who didn't, who didn't watch the um, the one switch session where I landed in that really horrible vault, uh, it wasn't even a vault; it was just a downstairs. I posted a picture of it on Reddit, and I think it hands down is the worst shaft I've ever seen because I was just surrounded by uh, so much, so much, uh, so many densely packed Hitlers, you know. There was just like no way out of it, but somehow I got out of it, just with pure luck and good positioning. Not even really bothering to use blade hands anymore, because um, <laughs> I just want to keep my. Uh, I just I just want to keep my my shield on, to be honest. Like, I value having a shield more than I value killing things quickly at this point on this character. We have so many bolts, too, I can kind of just cheese things with... cheese things to death with this crossbow. Hell beasts are actually quite strong, believe it or not. Really, really powerful melee. You wouldn't think it, but they are good. Oh, let's get out of line of sight of this Zot trap if we can. Question, do Tingu get less piety with Che because of flight? Yes, they do. Um, yes, they do, although you can turn the flight off. And it's because you get a little bit of EV from having it on, it seems like the best thing to do is to put it on anyway, especially once you're near the top of the, um, of the piety chart. All right, let's, let's do this intelligently, right? Okay, let's, let's wait for those to close because they didn't spawn in the right place. Let's try again. Okay, that's better. Make a tentacle. Um, I need to have pro magic on because these things could paralyze me. Open this up. Go into the pog. And then we leave. This is fairly free. Doing this intelligently, intelligently is just not opening the door normally. Um, but we have... We have Malign Gateway is the thing. So, I think doing this safely is, you know, this stuff cannot kill me unless I just make some kind of hilarious error. This is kind of a hilarious error. Uh, okay, we could have gotten double LCS, I guess, or crystal bolted. Let's put that there so that doesn't happen. I kind of expected the gateway to kill everything, and it just didn't. Shoals or Spider first on Phoebe? I mean, that sounds miserable either way. I will say that I died in Shoals partially because Shoals is just hell on a Phoebe. Um, I can't imagine Spider is much easier. I mean... I don't know, man. I think I would take Shoals over that, to be honest. Um, no, 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 because technically you can you can outrun Spider if you're if you're zerked, like various spiders. You can zerk and then run away from them to a staircase if you're really really careful about it. I guess um, <laughs> that's it's it's a little miserable though. I'm not gonna lie. I will say this, um, because monsters are more dense in Spider, especially if you get a wide open floor, 
um, your brothers in arms are going to do a lot are going to do a lot more for you because as long as they don't get really bad lucked by I don't know like a Tarantella or something, um, your you can like if you get like an Iron Troll brothers in arms that'll clear like an, an entire floor for you because there's just not that much space in in each floor of uh, a spider. Tarantella. Am I am I saying that wrong? That's that's how you say it, right? Okay. It's really only experience in here. In this chain mail of cold resistance. I can't believe we're still wearing just a plus two scale mail. What a what a disaster. But we just need the the MR. I guess there's plate available, but but man, we've got some horrible things, and that's that's huge. Going this deep on summonings was was the right call. Let's take Telux to like eleven though, even with our minus two aptitude. Maybe just a 10. You know, I wonder, um, what do we have? We had, uh, we had the Servitor available. We could get that, and then we could get, like, Iron Shot online. Just get it below 50%, and then he'd be able to cast it. That might be kind of cool. What a weird character. This is really, this is really shaping up to be a little strange. Hi. Hello. Um, will we have we have the penetration bow open, or rather, equipped? Let's just attack the floating eyes so we don't get wrecked. How about that? Um, you know what? I'm just gonna go up. Go down the staircase, and you got eyed today. It's kind of a miserable experience, isn't it? Well, this is this is good. I like this vault. Just tab. Ghoul boy with menace camping my upstairs. Can you imagine menace and a floating eye at the same time? How crappy that would be. Just miserable. <laughs> Not so good, man, not so good. Can he reach down there, I wonder? I guess not. Just chip it away, I guess, with the crossbow. That works. Hey, we don't have to deal with the obnoxious part of this vault, because we, uh, we fly, naturally. So, let's go right over everything. Sweet. It's kind of weird that everything's still sleeping since I really don't have that much stealth, you know. Is that a Caustic Shrek zombie? Yeah, it is. Make another tentacle. Wow, we are lagging. Okay. I'm trying to take out this Shrike zombie, man. Okay, we blink. 
These, this Titan zombie could actually be doing half decent damage to me. Um, why don't we lightning rod this stuff? There we go. I still have some ice blast. I'm just gonna walk. Oh shit! This is incredibly bad. Um, the tentacle went hostile, and it actually hit me several times. We could have gotten paralyzed and killed from that. We have to blink. Can't you just abuse deep water here with your range? Uh, sort of. Not really. The the giants are too big for that to for that to work, they'll just wait in. That's one of the reasons I want to get my spell power higher on that malign gateway. You think it's castable, and it is, um, but but they're less likely to go hostile if you have half decent spell power. So we will take that to 11 at least. Louise added on with a bunch of other mobs, lost my first life. Well, that's a point, man. Sounds mostly unavoidable though, unfortunately. This might, this might be the Enchantress's pack. Oh, that's hilarious. I got, um, I got Disto blinked, or Disto Telled. Yeah, it's just one point. That's that's not too bad. Um, although when I when I lost my first life and I was like, oh, it's just one one point, the game saw fit to dump me next to like three merfolk, <laughs> and then I like died again almost immediately, which could have been because of tilt. I probably should have taken a break right then and there when that happened. So don't be like me. Which one of these has the Disto? I guess none. I'm gonna lamp this stuff. Hey guys. Uh, nice little orange brain vault. <laughs> it's kind of cute. All right. Come on, artifact scale mail. Be something good for me. Nope. Well, well, actually, it is a slight improvement. Not really much of one. What drew you specifically to the elliptic streak? Um, because it's widely considered to be the best streak, it's the longest streak. Um, I kind of got tired of people saying that my, my other streaks were worthless because some of them contained a bunch of deep dwarves in them, uh, which to be fair is less uh, difficult than other other combos, but um, I just want to see if I can do it, you know. Pretty sure I can as long as the game is kind of kind to me. It's not too terrible in the early game. And it just looks like it has a lot of fun combos in it. I think that it will um, probably get some views, you know, as well. This is funny. It's bolting over the the uh, plants here. It's okay if I get paralyzed. All right, but I didn't.
This isn't entirely fair, but I honestly think it's harder to win nowadays. Um, Dazzler, that, that really depends on... I mean, honestly, I don't, I don't disagree with you. Uh, like, I just, I just don't disagree with you. But with that said, oh, we don't have our neg. We can actually have serious problems with the bolt of draining. Why don't we drink a, a heal wounds? Okay, there we go. But yeah, I mean, it just, it just depends on what you're dying to, but I do think that the game has more RNG in it than it did a few versions ago. I mean, like, <laughs> yeah, scattershot wands, you know, like on a D3 orc, super fair, that kind of thing. I mean, but there was never a version of the game where you couldn't just instantly die to some BS. Some kind of shaft nonsense. That's a chainmail. That does not have MR plus on it, though. So we're not immune to ancient liches with this chainmail on. To be honest, though, I think I'm inclined to wear this. And still cast pretty much everything. I hate the fact that we're not immune, but we should get at least very, very close to, to, to immune at level 27. Yeah. Suddenly my defenses are like much, much better. We go from 25-33 to 35-29. Quite good. I'm just going to enjoy some Shea walking here for a moment. Just to get these guys in a really convenient uh, hallway. One more. Okay, this is, this is a little obnoxious. Of course, this is the third floating eye we've met. Penetration makes it quite easy to deal with them, but still. And yeah, um, Dazzler, I don't necessarily disagree about the removal of, uh, of wands being a problem, although maybe for different reasons than, than you're saying. Uh, getting silence now is way more of a disaster than it used to be. Because um, before you could use wands to get out of the situation, and now you just can't. Yeah, Bolt of Bolt is a very good spell, for for sure. Let's put on Pro Fire real quick, so I'm not taking Buku damage from this very ugly thing. In fact, let's paralyze him. Dude, this tentacle. He's, he's taking names. So are my Bolts. You no, know, we're gonna we're gonna go blade hands. All right. Jeez, what a what an army we just faced. It was quite an engagement. That was the whole ten tickles. <laughs> <laughs> That's cute. I like that. And check this out. My resistances are awesome. I don't have RF unless I sacrifice pretty much all my MR, but we do have our elect, which makes this really good. And by the way, I can just pop these dudes out if I feel like it. You know, we got... We got A-bombs. 
They'll just clear stuff out for me. That's always cool. Okay, here comes the Zod entrance. Oh wait, we're wearing this big thick thing now. We can't really put um, can't really put D missile back on, can we? Let's make some horrible things. Let's take a step. Nineteen percent red fail rate is not so good on a on a spell that with if it miscasts we can suffer um, slowing or all kinds of bad things. Really, I think you can even you can even get marked. So I need to be careful about that. Abomination represents. <laughs> nice Ed and one shot there, that's cool. Yeah, I should probably put on some RF. tear through my hit points super super fast without it even a simple even a simple um, fire giant you know All right there's that now we have a fun choice um, this character could do Zot but um, Good thing there's nothing that does fire damage and so I know, right? How convenient. Hmm. I don't know, man. Uh, I want to do Vaults 5, but there's just a lot of a lot of problems. You know, we don't want to be running through Vaults 5 or Zot without any RF, but we also don't want to be running it around there without being immune to liches and whatnot. I know this character needs more loot. Well, this character wants more loot. Malign Gateway can solo Orbs of Fire, as uh, Rogue Shenanigans says. Yeah, I agree with that, but, um, I mean, do I... Imagine how much non-fun it's going to be for me to try to um, reset fights and whatnot at chase speed. Normally, you can, you can walk away from Orbs of Fire to some degree, but, like, one step puts the Orb of Fire right next to me, so... And we can't, we can't pog to set things up the way we'd like to in there. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna hop into a ziggurat. See if we can't find some cool things And it'll at least give us some experience. I wonder if there's anything decent for sale. I guess we have Wand of Acid. Hmm. Dude, there's a Buckler of Fire Resistance. I'd hate to switch my regular shield for that and lose a ton of SH, but it might actually be 
That, that, that may be the right choice, oddly enough. Whoa, 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 whoa. What am I doing just walking towards this stuff? What a big dummy. I'm gonna get myself killed here. <laughs> Thought the floor was clear already for some reason. Uh, let's, let's make horrible things. Why are we zigging? Um, we're not zigging, we're doing like five to 10 floors. We're not gonna finish the zig. I just want some loot. Um, believe me, this character does not, on a streak especially, this character does not wanna be in here um, for too long. Greed, it's not greed, it's, I think it's genuinely the safest and best play other than just heading into, um, <laughs> heading into the abyss like a lamer for a while, but I don't I don't want to do that. I just want some RF at all times, that's all. Alright, uh Quicksilver Dragon Scales is not good as a, not good for this character. Since we have this available. We probably won't go past like five, maybe. Of course there is this little problem. Really? I guess we'll drink in Viz so we can't get our mana stolen. I hate these new these new little things they've added to Ziggs with these statues. Makes these these a lot more painful. Hmm. We have cancellation, right? Okay, good, just in case. Wow, okay, drink resistance, type of fire. Somebody explain to me what the hell just happened. This has gotta be like a glitch, right? What, what is this? What the hell kind of lamp of fire is this? <laughs> lamp of fire just, I mean, I've seen it screw up in wildly goofy ways in the past, but the classic lamp. <laughs> yeah, right. Well. Okay, that floor, for what it was, which is which is just like a basic snake floor, should not have been that obnoxious. But uh, we're we're also not as strong as I'd like to be. Probably would have been better off just um, spamming ugly things, probably or horrible things. Okay. That's our cue to get out of the zig, probably. Um, and yeah, there is always another set of statues. I'd like to, I'd like to know who exactly made these new, um, these new statues in the zigs, because it really complicates doing your first zig a lot. Um, I'm convinced it's new. All right, we didn't really find anything useful in there, not item-wise anyway. This is a little wonky, okay? But, um... I actually am, believe it or not, 
I'm going to wear the buckler instead of my shield of reflection, um, which is going to wreck my SH. But having having a having fire resistance at all times is just so much. It's just more important. I hate to say it, but it is. I guess we could check this buckler too. It might be higher enchant fire resistance, I suppose. Nope. Hopefully, we find something in vaults five that makes this not not quite so necessary. GF just for me. Uh, you know, I'm a paranoid fella, but not, not quite that bad. Um, two transporters. Is there a vault in here that I skipped? Yeah, there is. Pro cold ring. Scythe of the thing. At least we have horrible boys to screen for us if we get caught out of position in Zot. That's true. Horrible boys are helpful. One of the best spells in the game. Probably better than Dragon's Call, to be honest. Like, more, more usable, so to speak. It's kind of like a six like summon butterflies, except with... Uh, Creatures that can slaughter your enemies very easily. <laughs> uh oh. We're gonna tell her. <laughs> thanks, thanks, doesn't he? Hey, there wasn't a, there wasn't a warden here the last time I was here. I was gonna teleport anyway, so it's fine. Uh, and remember, we're we're Che, so we have just monstrous EV as well. So we haven't taken any damage yet. I just thought to myself, gee, I should haste. Ha ha. This is a little better. Um, not really where I want to be, though. And we're flying. Which is going to make the Titan be able to wreck us even harder. Do I want to stop flying immediately? Is that the first thing I want to do? Kind of. One scroll of blinking is, is not as many as I'd like. I feel like the first thing I want to do is fog. And then summon horrible things. And then read another Tella. Because this dude can do like... Looks like those pillars have been around for ages. Why Why do they seem so new to me? Because I don't remember those being in there before, and I've done, you know, a decent amount of zigs. Okay, here we are. Horrible things should solve this problem for me. Nine years old, wow. Some four years curse skulls got removed from the rotation when they were made able to move. Huh. I mean, I, I could very well be wrong. Man, it's, it's possible.
Okay, we need more horrible things. We need friends. Desperately. We need to use a magic potion for this. Thankfully we have a giant stack. Probably should have, um, I probably should have, yeah, I probably should have grabbed a crystal orb. Pastry, why don't you, um, why don't you play a, um, why don't you, why don't you play a null wizard if you haven't yet? Yeah, I would like to. I would like to emulate, but I can't. Um, we don't. We only had the one. We've. I think we've only found one emulate this entire game. Sort of unfortunate. Um, BBC would be really sick here. I think. G and AE instead don't have an AE win. Yeah, G and uh, no no uh, air elementalist sounds like a lot of fun. Okay, so what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to just make it to the to the corner where you're supposed to be. This is so dumb. Why don't we um let's do some ambrosia while my buddies take care of this stuff for me. Some horrible things really MVPing through here. I almost forgot how completely and totally broken the spell is. <laughs> it's quite it's quite nice, man. Five potions of magic, the dream. Yeah, we had six until I used one. But on top of that, we have the eight potions of ambrosia, which really go further for a character that has the ability to surround himself with horrible things. Oh, we should stop flying. I'm going to Ambrosia here. Okay, we'll drink a Curing. And we got another Tentacle. This streak won't have a Null in it. It will. I'll, uh, I'll tell you what, I'm going to play a Null Wanderer at the end. That'll be the capstone. If I if I make it, okay, come on, take out this take out this dude for me. There we go. Stop starving. Let's regen. Am I doing streak breaking spin as well? Uh, yeah, yeah, I am. SPEN is kind of a crappy start. Um, I mean, it's a, it's a spriggan, so it's good, but um, it's just not that fun because you don't get you don't get anything good at level one other than your spriggan speed. So it can be very painful. Like SPEN is just a weird combo because you think it's going to be good since spriggans are you know they can run fast, so you can sort of cheese your way through almost anything, but eventually the character just kind of feels like, uh, what do I do, you know? If that makes sense. Dude, with RF+, plus, I'm feeling so much better about this character's defenses. I mean, I know that I've taken a huge SH hit, and that's not so good, especially in Zot, now that we have uh, the unfortunate reality of, of the clowns to deal with. But, um... 
Wow, minus five gloves, that plus six. Dishonorable indeed. The gloves of dishonor. Filthy, filthy wizard gloves. <laughs> You want to see some real uh, slimy tactics I could throw those gloves on for higher spell power? Cast D missile, take them off. <laughs> Just do that every time. Sort of a sign that D missile is perhaps uh, coded a little bit wonkily. That that's the optimal thing to do with it. Whoa, I should stop tabbing. What the what the hell am I doing? Um I don't have my RC on this on this character. Come to think of it. Wonkily is definitely not a word. Um You know, I uh I like to use my own words sometimes. That's <laughs> it's just the way I roll, man. The missile clearly shouldn't work like it does, but nerfing charms seems like the last thing you should want to do. I agree. Um, I feel like there's a way to make. Um, I feel like there's a way to make D missile less wacky and just as strong, maybe even stronger. Um, like if I was in charge of the universe, I would. Um, I would set it up to where. Like what it, how it would work is it's just permanently on based on your current spell power, you know? I mean, then you don't have to recast it. Charms need a reason charms needs a reason to exist. D missile isn't even it. You know, I know this guy, this really cool guy who had this idea that uh, you could you could have a charm spell that's maybe level four that um, makes all of your throwing or ranged attacks piercing. That'd be pretty cool, right? But instead, we're just making all javelins piercing instead. <laughs> That's ridiculous. It's basically a bolt spell. Right? Lost all your Phoebe lives in Snake, very difficult. Yeah, Snake was something I was pretty terrified to even try. Wait, I thought you said you had Spider and Shoals. Am I, am I thinking of somebody else? Oh, Spider, yeah. Um, I mean, it's a, it's, a, it's a hard challenge, dude. I, I don't know what to tell you. Oh man, doesn't he? If you if you say uh, if you say that, they'll yell at you. If you say that the development is stalled. I mean, I think that Spider than Shoals is probably the right choice. Um, but if you're just unlucky like me, you get the worst possible ones, which is Shoals plus uh, Snake, both of which are I don't want to say they're impossible to do for that combo, because they're not, but. They're significantly less fun, especially when you're trying to do ascetic. I would have taken Swamp or Spider for sure. Anyway, Volts 5 is done, we just gotta mop it up now. Um, we pretty much, whoa, I'm just tabbing and this is a shapeshifter. Turned into a floating eye. 
Yeah, so the next game we play, we're gonna um, <laughs> we're gonna turn my RC file on, you know. Wand of acid, that could be helpful. Um, well, we found some rings. We found an awesome ring. Um, this changes everything, perhaps. RC plus, RF plus. We have send from something. What are we getting send from? Our amulet. Hmm. That opens up different body armor. Well, does it though? No, none of that really changes anything about my situation. I need to find I need to find a good source of MR plus. Well, if I change my let's see, if I change my body armor back to MR, I could take off the MR ring, I could put on RF plus, and then I could put on like uh, my, my shield of uh, reflection if I felt like it. Um, I'm not sold on that being the right thing to do, though. Wow, what am I doing? Stop flying. Horrible things, horrible things. Take a step. Horrible things. Take a step. Regen. Dude. Stop. Alright, there we go. They're so... They tear through my horrible things so quickly, these titans. Swamp is a myth. Yeah, no kittens allowed in the swamp. Swamp closed. Good lamp. Really, really solid. Really solid lamp doing exactly what it's supposed to do. Love that. Love that aim, man. Definitely not doing anything unexpected. Meme of fire. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> okay, that's rune number four. We just found some regular gloves. Oh, plus, plus six amulet of reflection. Not really worth trading sin for, though. Just another regular pair of gloves. How about these? Just another wear, uh, regular regular pair of gloves. Plus two. Now what's on the floor? Bunch of crap, man. Um. Wow. Not not much really. I guess we're stuck with the buckler, man. And we're gonna have to ascend not being totally immune to paralysis from ancient liches, which is not great. But we can make it work. Change lamps. <laughs> yeah, is, is the one uh, the one that I'm using unlucky? I'll tell you what, I'm gonna do that. This lamp is defective. I'm gonna pick up this lamp instead. All 
All right. Yeah, we're sticking with the buckler. It's weird, but we'll enchant it up. We'll make it work. We'll drop this manual pole arm so we don't need that. It's very good advice, Rogue Shenanigans, and I, I deeply appreciate that. It's 10% uh, of the street belongs to me. Okay, we'll magic map every single one of these floors. So this is going to be interesting. This is going to be an interesting time. Twenty-four, twenty-four summonings. I don't think we really need to train summonings anymore, do we? Train a little more spell casting for more mana. Summon horrible things. Eat Zot. Uh, it does, and so does Tentacle for that matter. But I have to remember that we're a Che guy. And uh, summoning is kind of like, there's like a sort of anti-synergy between Che with uh, summoning, since it sort of stops you from using Slouch. Except in the case of uh, Summon Lightning Spire, since it doesn't move. Wow, what, a, what an epic battle here. <laughs> Just this thing zapping me for years. I keep getting floors like this with nice convenient little hallways, this uh, this penetration bolt is gonna solve pretty much all my problems for me, man. We're training evocations up, by the way, because um, that's gonna help us if we get clown pied in a particularly nasty way. Speaking of nasty things happening, let's, uh, let's summon some horrible things here. Didn't really feel like getting it tin tackled. You know, I, I could see this character going a different way. Like, imagine if we had just gotten an Arbalest, you know? Just like a plus nine Arbalest. Haven't even been shafted into Cursed Toe Orb of Fire yet. I know, right? Game's too easy. Hello, it's a clown. But I can block I can block clowns with um with with uh spire, can't I? Dude, can this fight end please? Holy shit. It's a long fight. Lightning Spire just doing work, reasonable output for investment. <laughs> yeah, you know, level um, level four spell, really kind of underpowered, if you ask me. I think we should buff Lightning Spire. You know, very, 
Very boring middling spell. Not good at all, really. Buff SLS 2019. Now there's a tournament team name. <laughs> Three. I'm trying to imagine how broken that would be. Like the, the number of wacky uh, positional things you could do if you could make more than one Spire would be hilarious. Like really, really, really good. Mostly just blocking off wider um, hallways and things. Dude, I need this annihilator to be dead. Don't LCS me, bro. In B-Crawl, you can sort of have two thanks to false image. That sounds interesting. I haven't played that, but I should. I mean, I'm going to participate in his tournament. I'll make videos on it. I'll do it on Twitch. Um, drum up some interest. Anything to fight the, the 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 devil's team, you know. <laughs> it's gotta gotta take the devil's team down. Cause I'm supposed to be like the dungeon crawl terrorist, right? Oh hey, here's that shaft you wanted. The shaft you wanted has been delivered. Um you fall through a shaft for two floors. Wonderful. I don't know, um, the base game is kind of run by monstrous clowns in real life, so uh, I'd really love to see a fork kind of take over popularity. Um, alarm coming next turn. No. Okay, we're, gonna, we're gonna dig. I can't pog here. We're gonna fear. We're actually going to dig this out a little bit. Oh wait, that's a freaking purple draconian. Why am I trying to paralyze him? Derp. I think some horrible things. Stepping was probably a mistake because he could hellfire me, but... Like, there's a reason I'm digging this stuff out, and the reason is that I, I want to be able to make a malign gateway. Okay, we cannot be opened in this cramped space. What is... why? Why do you think it's a cramped space still? Okay, I give up. I give up. We're just gonna go into the kill hole. Okay, so anyway, um... We are going to... And here's what you're actually incentivized to do. It has come to this, gentlemen. We're going to do Zot 4 first, and then Zot 3. And then we're going to finish Zot 2. And that way we can't get shafted. Now you may think to yourself, wow, that's really silly. Why is that incentivized? And I would agree with you. That's, that's, that's the game, man. Can't get shafted in Zot 4. Exactly. That's, um... Yep. That is why. Can't construct there? What? I must have hit the wrong button. Okay, we're gonna blink away from this. Gonna make some horrible things and we're gonna get out of this stupid fight. Dude, whatever. Whatever horrible things. Give me my malign gateway. How about that? All right, okay. Finally. SLS summonable into walls win. I'm just lagging a little bit is probably why I accidentally did that. 
Watch me miscast uh, summon missiles or uh, deflect missiles, and it marks me. How cute would that be? Summon missiles. I mean, that's that's what I'm casting with my crossbow. That would be kind of funny, actually, if you could only cast Lightning Spire into walls. I guess that would be a funny way to balance it. Of course, it would also remove everything that's interesting about it, you know? Don't give the devs any ideas. There's a orb of fire. There's only so much you can do to me. Oh shit, no, he has... He had line of sight on me. Also, of course, my tentacle goes neutral. Um, at just the wrong time. This looks painful as hell. Why don't we take a step up? Put on regen. Jesus, I almost want to teleport. No, rogue shenanigans. Usually Scry doesn't let you do really cool things like that. Um, trust me, I've tried like LRD on the other side of Scry, that kind of thing. Be hilarious, but unfortunately, you just can't do it. Okay, here we go. Can my tentacle please get the job done here? There we go. All right, all right, all right. We have Shouting, which is not really so much of a big deal. Um, we have 10 Mutation Potions, but I'm going to save them as is optimal uh, for like a bad mutation rather than an inconsequential one. God, I hope I don't get teleported into the end vault on this character. That'd be pretty painful on a shake guy. Okay, now we go up. Cannot get shafted anywhere that's not fully safe now. A nice optimal game of dungeon crawl. <laughs> mm. It's uh Well, I'm trying to paralyze this guy. 63% tried three times, didn't work. I just don't want to get Zot trapped is all. But this is working out. Power Power of Bolt. I'm glad they entirely changed the trap system to disincentivize a strategy that nobody used other than to meme. Yeah, uh, you can blame Ultraviolet 4 for that. Um, he unfortunately caused that to happen, I guess. Uh, I don't know, man. I, I don't know what's wrong with the dev team. I like Ebering seems to be treating the code base like his personal playground just as much as uh, Gamma Funk ever did, so... Whatever. <laughs> it's... Not much I can do about it, you know. 
You wouldn't blame UV4 for that? I'm, I'm being a little tongue-in-cheek about blaming UV4 for that. He just made a funny post on, on Reddit. Um, believe me, I blame Ebering for, for deciding to, to, take, to basically do the dumbest possible solution. Um, <laughs> instead of, as you say, removing traps. Um, it's kind of funnier to blame Ultraviolet 4. <laughs> but, I mean, I, I wasn't being serious when I said that. Like nobody actually did that. That's the thing. It was literally a joke post. Um, you know, uh, he did it. He did it to kind of point out. But that's the thing: is you can't, you cannot reason with these people. Like the obvious, to me, the obvious thing is that traps are just sort of broken in the game. And I think UV four realized that too, and thought that they should be they should be removed, right? Um, but like you go through all this trouble to make this kind of. I mean, you try to make this argument, like, you make it as reasoned as possible, you give examples and whatnot, and then they choose to do, like, the, the dumbest possible thing in response, you know? <laughs> there's, just, there's just no winning. And also, hello, uh, titanium-filled pancakes. So we've got, we've got lustful pastries and we've got titanium-filled pancakes. It's going to have, like, a pastry war here. All right, back to Zot 2. Wasn't much left on this floor. We will magic map this. And we're going to try real hard not to get uh, teleported. Wow, wow, okay. Um, look at that dispelling breath, dude. Up to 60 damage possible. So sick. Hey, thank you. Thank you, Titanium, for the for the follow. One of these days, I'm going to figure out why Muxy is breaking, because it's like I can resend the alert with this, and boom, we get audio. Fuck you. So maybe I shouldn't blame uh, Muxy for this. Maybe I should blame my broadcasting software. Seems to be kind of weird about doing things and uh, when it's when it's minimized. Hope you enjoy my follow alert there, by the way. Nine thousand uh, hours in MS Paint to get that GIF just right. Am I ready for double trapped lungs? Uh, I'm not ready. I mean, I guess I am ready. Got the power of Che on our side. Whoa! Look at that melee, dude. They can they can do some work on us, that's for sure. However, I can do some work on them with something as simple as a plus ten penetration hand crossbow. <laughs> oh hey, it's a trap of cheesing. Should I uh, should I trigger the alarm trap on purpose? Is that real stupid on Che, I wonder? Probably. Probably. Easy alarm. It's not so smart on Che, though. Um, I'm just not so sure. You're right next to an upstairs. That's true. The stairs are right there. Doesn't he? Just, just so you know, it's... Here I am. All right, two, four, six, eight, ten turns. So, I mean, that's that's easily enough for like tons of orbs of fire to get right next to me. I'd rather lure everything here to an upstairs. Yeah, for sure. Um, I'm not really disagreeing. I'm just pointing out it's not it's not quite as free as it looks like. 
I would, I would like it better if I could get this dude to wander into it. Could I, could I summon some snakes to walk onto it? Is that an option? Will they do that? I don't think they will. Yeah, you're right. They won't. They're too smart. Snake buddies. All right. Them being too much of a worry wart. Maybe if I piss one off, that was a, that would have been a good idea. So here's the coolest thing about this is I can just make a a guardian or a, sorry a malign gateway, and then come down, and then enjoy getting experience. <laughs> Uh, although it didn't really get much, did it? They kind of wrecked it. So everything's wandering the floor now, right? Is that how that works in when 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 a mark trap happens? Like patrolling doesn't care about. About the fact that it's kind of supposed to be in the in the lungs. Because I'm not used to having to use a freaking mark trap on Zot 5 to have a relatively safe time. At least some of it will be out here now. Please don't pie me. No pies, no pies. No pies allowed. Dude, summons were already amazing throughout this whole game, but the, 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 the addition of clown pies makes summons even better. Just being able to surround yourself with, with big, thick bodies you know, things that will absorb the pies for you. So crucial. Thick crew taking those pies. <laughs> I like that. I would say that uh, horrible things are pretty high on the chunk chart. If I had to, if I had to place them anywhere on that chart. Probably on the um, the chunkier side. Shit, that could have been bad. Oh my God, someone horrible things really just MVPing it up today. Thick crew indeed. Hey Asimov, what's up? I rogue shenanigans. That is that is a misquote. I have nothing against large people other than I do think that they should probably work out a little more um, just for their own health. I do not think they are horrible things. I used to be um, dreadfully underweight myself, so I understand what it's like to be out of shape, at least in. A slightly different direction, but believe me, it's just as bad for you. Getting fit is not an easy thing to do either, but it's very rewarding. Actually, really, uh, I guess fat. If <laughs> I guess I'm saying the fat people are my friends in this game, if they're if they're so thick, right? You know, I'm summoning them to help me out, so they're my best pals. So it's the opposite of what you said. Just eat less. It's not always that simple. Um, I mean, it kind of is, but it's more eating the right things. Um, and like, I don't know, man, unrefined sugar is so freaking bad for you. That and white bread, which basically becomes unrefined sugar, or I meant to say refined sugar. Um, but the point is like this stuff, you know, it'll give you diabetes. Uh, it'll make you fat. But on top of that, it's actually really, really addicting. You know, like human beings evolved to store as much fat as possible. Um, so it's, you know, I, I wouldn't be surprised if one day they find out that sugary things are almost as addicting as like heroin, you know, for some people, depending on your genetics. So it's like the struggle is real. I, I completely understand. Let's walk away. Certain amount of damage is possible, but not too much. There's code to make certain monsters start patrolling around certain features. That sounds weird. And like, unnecessary. By the way, I'm placing this spire here so that he'll fireball it. 
He can still bolt me for pretty good damage, but um, he can't fireball me from here. Try to take a step. Walking is super dangerous. Um, dude, I'm getting out of here. <laughs> there we go. Walking is super dangerous because I could take just a ton of damage. Um, X fatty, a heroin addict can safely go the rest of their lives without using, even though they may hate it, humans have to eat, so developing a healthy relationship can be really hard. Yeah, um, I definitely, I definitely hear you there, man. Like, my problem was always on the opposite end. Like, I'll tell you, I am six feet tall. I used to be 120 pounds, and I was like your stereotypical, just like skeleton nerd who played World of Warcraft all day, you know, which was a very unhealthy time in my life. Um, I drank freaking soda instead of water, which was just insane. Um, I can't even remember the last time I had soda now, but back then it was just like, it was just what I drank, you know? <laughs> I'm honestly surprised I don't have diabetes or something. Um, but one day, you know, I, I don't know, like I broke up with this girl and I, I just like decided to improve myself. And I started, uh, I started out with like body weight, uh, workouts and later moved on to lifting and just started forcing myself to eat more because like my stomach was just like, you know, your stomach will change size based on how much you eat. And mine was just tiny. So I kind of forced myself to eat a bunch of really good food, you know, just a bunch of meat, basically, um, you know, uh, dark green vegetables, that kind of thing. Uh, you know, you know, you can control your, your weight. It's certainly possible. It's just, it is tons of work, whether you're losing or gaining for sure. Like I have a, I have a master's degree and I'm actually more proud of getting fit than, than, than getting my degree weirdly enough, because like, I think it was, it was actually harder for me to, to master my body than to, uh, than to, than to get a master's degree in computer science. I guess that might surprise some people, but I don't know, it's something I'm proud of. This Zot is going really well. Monsters that are recalled have their patrol point cleared. Okay. What about monsters that naturally walk there because they got marked, or because the player got marked? This is a little bit... This is a lot of crap. This is more crap than I'd like. We're going to fog so we can't see the freaking the Zot traps. Uh, going to regen. Take a step. If I can just chill out here... Well, this guy is too far away. Let's blink. Let's blink again. We could have ended up in the Zot trap. It wasn't super likely. Let's make a bunch of these guys. Uh, do I want an ambrosia? A degree builds on stuff that you're already, for lack of a better word, good at. Getting in shape, especially when you don't have anything motivating you, is more or less the opposite. Yeah, you know, I, I've put a lot of thought into why it is I feel that way about you know about those two things that I've that I've done in my life, um, and I think that's a pretty good explanation for it. It's like getting fit was so alien to me that it's something. You know, I've always been into computers. Um, if I, I could have gotten a similar level of mastery of, of computer science at any point in my life just by spending time, you know, doing stuff, learning things on the internet. I, w I didn't even need to get a degree really to, to learn what I did, although it was helpful. Um, but like the whole, the physicality stuff, you know, I went through most of my life and I think that society really, really does people a disservice because it, it, it works really hard to tell you, you know, no, 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 you're, you're good enough. Don't, don't try to improve yourself. Like don't, you know, you're, you're just a faker if you try to improve yourself. And, and people will tell you that. And it's really, uh, it's honestly kind of monstrous because, you know, everybody, you know, it's like Socrates said, no man should be an amateur in the art of physical fitness. Cause it's, um, you know, it's, it's, it's just a basic health thing, really like resistance training, changes the way you think as well you know it'll raise your testosterone and it'll it'll really make you a sharper person um all around not just physically but also mentally and you know, all that stuff is connected um in ways that people don't really realize but uh i mean yeah it's just like i i fell for the meme where it's like oh well i'm so goddamn smart i don't 
I don't need to work out, <laughs> you know, and it's just like, I'm going to be, I'm, I'm going to be the nerd guy, you know, and when you're a kid, you kind of fall into these little archetypes, I guess, but, um, I mean, getting out of that, I think, was one of the healthiest things I ever did for myself, and I, I tried to encourage a lot of my friends, you know, who were also in various engineering degrees to kind of follow and join me, but not many of them wanted to. It's like they were afraid of, they were afraid of picking up a piece of metal, you know. It's really not as intimidating as it looks to do, you know. It's got a 45, just like a 45 pound bar is really not a problem. But people think you have to make this choice between being like a, a muscle-bound idiot and uh, being being like a, you know, an intellectual or whatever you want to call it. And I, I don't think, it's like a false choice, you know. Saw so five turned into an after-school special. You gotta watch out for that, Rogue Shenanigans. I will go on these weird uh, tangents and there's there's no stopping me once I once I get on a topic like that, so... It's kind of an aspect of my personality you're going to have to accept, I think, if you're if you're on my stream. Sorry about that if it uh, <laughs> if you don't like it, but it is it is what it is. Oh oh oh! No 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 no! The blink's taking me in the wrong direction. There we go. I knew that the blinking there was eventually going to punish me, but it didn't put me into the trap, so that's good. By the way, um. Which one of you said uh, something of joke about double trapped Zot? Because that's what we got. We have um, alarm dispersal on one side and Zot trap on the other. Really, really exciting stuff. Optimal play is to stand in Zot trap until you get paralyzed. <laughs> hey, that, that Zot trap isn't on the path? Oh, yeah, I guess that's true, although. I mean, effectively, it's just as scary, I think. I mean, the fact that there's so much crap here. Let me check it out. We're going to fog. Blink out. At least not double perm telly. That's, that's fair. Ah, come on, did the, did the orb of fire not come out? He didn't. It's not mandatory to trigger. Well, as long as you have blink, they're never mandatory to trigger, I guess. Orb scared. Dude, he should be. I've got I've got these tentacles that specialize in tearing their buttholes up, you know? Do do orbs of fire have buttholes, I wonder? Is that a anatomy that they uh that they <laughs> that they possess? I don't think so. I think they're supposed to be super, super tiny like the size of a baseball or something. This works. Like horrible things, mostly just a block. I'm so glad that Tentacle doesn't trigger traps. Because, like, with it wandering around, that would be a real issue. <laughs> I don't know why I was even worried. I guess just because if things went wrong in here, they go wrong really, 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 really fast on any character, but especially especially a Che character, you know. Things things go south so badly. They're just entirely buttholes around five hours after Indian food. That is uh, gross, but sounds pretty accurate, to be honest. Explore Teletrap. What's this now? Did I get Teled? I don't think I got Teled. That's why you should be worried. Right, yeah. Um, but I'm, what I'm trying to say is that's like, dude, I blinked out of the, the net trap and I finally blinked right into a Zot trap. But yeah, that's it, that's why you should be worried about Zot Five. But like, uh, what I'm saying is on Shay, that's twenty billion times worse. Because what am I gonna do? Step from time like eight times in a row?
All right. Okay. I guess we're just we're just doing the the Ebering dispersal trap time today. Okay. Let's let's do this. This is not completely retarded at all. This is this is certainly something. <laughs> What a fun place for a dispersal trap. Fun and dynamic gameplay, I know, right? The one good thing about this character, um, well, there's a lot of good things about this character, but one thing I'm happy about is that the orb run should be pretty nice and easy, um, since Che slows it down. Hey, the killer clown evaporates and reforms his shard strike. I'll take that. Sounds sounds like a good trade. My minions deal with the ancient liches. Remember, we're not quite immune uh, to their paralysis, so I need to be very careful not to let them get into line of sight of me or line of effect. Thank you, doesn't he? I I have a bad habit of going starvation mode, and I think it bothers blokes, especially to no end, when I'm worshiping Che because for some reason one of the things he likes the most about Che seems to be that Che slows your metabolism down. All right, that's the floor, man. Okay, so what we'll do is we will teleport. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven turns. Che does that because otherwise the hunger would annihilate you. <laughs> yeah. You like the throwing revamp, do you? Seems, it seems interesting to me. I do think that the you know, always penetrating javelins uh, are kind of silly. I mean, I'm going to enjoy it as a player, but I'm not going to enjoy it when I'm getting penetrate javed through, uh, through shoals. Anyway, uh, Chabriatus tells the Lords of Pandemonium not to hurry. Try to keep regen up. Now throwing is good, man. Um, I enjoy throwing characters. I don't. Um, I used to think they were like the most optimal thing you could do. I'm not really on that train anymore, but they're they're really good. Um, like if you're willing to go Oka, you can do some incredible things with them. I think that this is overall a nerf to the things I used to do to them, though, because now I have to train stealth if I want to needle things, which is kind of unfortunate. This is a warrior pan lord, not so bad. Does it, did it say it smells delicious? Is that one of the... It smells delicious. A splotchy body with thin, membranous wings and a gigantic mouth. It smells delicious. That doesn't look delicious. He looks like a... He looks like he's got some STDs all over his body. I don't, I don't want... I don't want to eat that. It smells delicious. All right, here is the upstairs. Why don't we just sort of walk away, and maybe our minions will deal with this for us. Maybe they won't. We just keep making more horrible things. Looks like they've got it. Scrumptiously transmitted diseases. <laughs> That's pretty good. Uh, check it out. We're gonna um, we're gonna rest a bit. That was free. Okay. The 
Okay, this is unfortunate. What do we got here? Another warrior, distorting touch. Susceptible to fire. Hmm. Okay, I tried to paralyze the Hellion twice. It didn't work. This is crappy enough that I'm going to holy word. Uh, I'm going to blink. I'm going to make like a lamp of fire here. Yeah, that didn't do nearly as much to him as I had hoped it would. Let's just make some buddies. Let's make more buddies. Let's make more buddies. Get blinked. Waifu Gate, very nice. Spriggan is a is an interesting challenge. Um, very powerful race, but very hard to use them to the best of their abilities, you know. We're gonna teleport. This is kind of dumb. We're on the orb run. This is just kind of a weird uh, run. Yeah, yeah, I understand that I'm sapped and it's ruining my life right now, but that's okay. Uh, there's nowhere that's a bad tele other than in this place. Um, I don't know. Sometimes you get to walk right out of it. I see what you mean, though. I'm using my summoning scrolls because I'm probably not going to have a better place to use them. Oh, that was a way faster tele than I expected. Save 12k for Zop bribes. That'll make the game easier for sure. That'll that'll help you out. All right. Um. Holy shit! I just put that there to block him, but look at look at how much work this lightning spire is putting in against a brimstone fiend. I mean, I, I know it's this good, but I still get surprised by it. Like it just almost killed the brimstone fiend all by itself. And then it just killed the brimstone feed all by itself entirely. It's hilarious. Imagine using summon ice piece. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> oh, a third pan lord. All right. He's fast. He's got corrosive bolt. That's kind of painful. Um, poisonous cloud. I have no Gozag discipline. You should uh, you should develop some Gozag discipline. It's quite fun. Okay, Malign Gateway. Noel Air Elementalist just found Temple for your first altar. What god would you all pick? I'd go Gozag, dude, or Ashenzari. Ashenzari is actually super duper duper fun. Um, in fact, you might you might check out my. Um, my no Wizard of Ashenzari uh, guide, which tells all about how to use that effectively. Hmm. Is this guy is this guy fragile enough to just kill? He's got pretty good EV, but crappy AC. Waifu Gate, if you wanna um, if you wanna win on Octopod, I highly recommend building a guy that uses stat form. You know what, we're so far away from an upstairs. Teleporting is the right move here. With chase speed, I'll teleport, you know, reasonably fast. Okay, that teleport kind of sucks, but okay, I'll take it. That's okay. You read as a power pick as usual. Yeah, he'll win the game. You know, he'll straight up win the game for you. Although, does he still hate stat form? Because if he still stay, if he still hates stat form, I wouldn't want to use him on a on a uh, an octopod. Just because like the game. You're essentially playing two different games between um, between Octopod with stat form and Octopod without all oh, the null. Oh yeah, now that'd be yeah, that'd be a perfectly serviceable pick in that case. My bad. Kind of powering through this orb run here. Dude. Or 
Orb Guardians making me feel not tanky at all. Okay, um... Could never get behind your red. It's so good. I mean, I would go red and on an Octopode too, but I, I would be kind of sad about it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I know it's optimal. I know it's great. It's powerful. It's, you know, it'll, it'll win the game for you great. But then, then you have to play without statue form, and it's just more painful to do that. <laughs> you have to learn to love Regia in Waifu Gate. That's the real sleeper, sleeper best region, uh, best best necro spell. What's this bullshit? No, 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 no. Fan of Gales, go away. <laughs> we're not, we're not playing this today. That's not happening. Symbolacrum is nice when you're worshipping Kiku. Alright guys. We uh, we did it. Better make a quick shill here in my note. <laughs> better better make a quick inscribe here. Uh no, that was a good game. Um that's the first game, hopefully, of a very long um, streak. Did you know that there are many ways that you can help support this channel? Read about them on rosecrypto.com support. At Rose Crypto, you can learn all about cool things like the Brave web browser, Bitcoin, and other cryptocurrencies. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe.